So now in this video, we're going to look at an emitter follower circuit where we uh, use bipolar junction transistors. So one problem with the using the bipolar junction transistor is the base 2 emitter voltage drop. And so if you use a PNP transistor, you'll have an additional 0.6 volts from what you set approximately. If you use the NPN bipolar junction transistor, you'll have about 0.6 volts less than what you set at the base. So we're going to cascade them where basically you eliminate that effect. So we will look at that coming up. There is the uh, basic circuit and there is the demonstration circuit right there. So we're going to look at this circuit really quick voltage wise. So that's the main thing. It's the voltage. Now this is a 10 kilo ohm trim pot. We're using 10 volts by the way. The diagram I wrote says 5 volts but we're going to use 10. I think I drew it back when I was using a breadboard power supply that was set at 5 volts. But in any case we lose just a speck of voltage so I set it slightly higher so there you can see 10 volts right there almost the exact same voltage the power supply is getting just lose it a little bit. This trim pot is set about halfway so we expect 5 volts and it has this yellow jumper there that's going to the base of the PNP transistor so we will look at that so 5.2 volts to make uh, to just round up slightly so we expect about 5.2 volts pretty close to spot on at the emitter there and so it looks like we lost a tiny bit but it's uh, really close so that's across the load the resistor and the LED and it holds that voltage even as the load changes so now we just have this 10 kilo ohm resistor there that helps hold the uh, voltage. But uh, there you can see now we got the uh, 5.2 so it's doing even better. So if we asked for less current from this load it'd probably be even better. But in any case there you can see how bright it is and if we take the trim pot directly to power the load you can see it's not near as bright and also there's a voltage drop right there 2.7 volts instead of 5.2 and across the resistor we have about about one volt this is a one kilo ohm resistor though so that means there's about uh, one milliamp of uh, current going through there because it's a 1000 ohm resistor so we lose power by trying to power it directly from the trim pot that is the problem so we want to get our power from a transistor and the voltage isn't set right now so it's gonna be brighter there we go we set the voltage there so now there is about the 5.2 volts so let's do a kind of a step-by-step -step build of this so first off we're gonna pluck that resistor and that transistor and look at the NPN bipolar junction transistor by itself because again we did this in the earlier video we just used the NPN bipolar junction transistor we got the voltage out that we put in except for it was 0.6 volts less so we come here again I'm using 10 volts instead of 5 volts so I'm using a 1 kilo ohm resistor to protect the LED 1 kilo ohm resistor there which also makes it nice you measure the voltage across the resistor you know the current that's going through it because of Ohm's law and uh, so we have the transistor here this is the 2N3904 and the other one we're using is the 2N3906 so this is an NPN type that's a PNP type but otherwise they have the uh, same basic electrical properties they can handle the same voltage current uh, power and whatnot and then we got the resistor here so they also have the same pin layout flat side facing us left pins emitter middle pin is base right pin is collector so collector goes to the power supply again 10 volts middle pin the base gets the uh, signal and uh, the uh, bottom pin there the emitter goes to this resistor which helps set that voltage so we got that voltage so we can look at that right now we will put that 5.2 volts at the uh, base there and we can also put the uh, 
resistor back, our load. So we got the resistor protecting the LED. And so when we're measuring voltage, you can see that I put the black probe to ground because we want to know the voltage in relationship to ground. And I put the other probe, the red probe, to where I want to take the measurement. If I wanted to measure uh, current, well, I could bypass the resistor. But uh, also we could just measure in between those two points. So I'm actually going to ignore the uh, measuring the current there. But in any case, we'll quickly look. And I covered this in the last video, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. But now, now we have a couple jumpers, makes it easy to take measurements. You can see we basically have that 5.2 volts. Looks like a, a spec less. If I come to the output here, we got about 0.6 volts less approximately so we lost voltage we don't have a terribly good uh, we lost you know about 10 percent of the voltage over there so again that's because of that 0.6 volt drop from base to emitter so we take the PNP transistor as we had shown before so again it's the 2N3906 these loops are really nice for uh, reading components that are uh, small so the yeah, lighting's not uh, ideal right now but uh, that's a 2N3906 there we go right there so the exact position this is in relationship to your eye in this case the camera makes a huge difference as you can see there so let's pluck uh, that signal and look how we attach this so this is also and emitter follow the exact same except for polarity is opposite so the wiring is opposite instead of a 10 kilo ohm resistor to the negative rail we have the 10 kilo ohm resistor to the positive rail and again these are not setting current they're just keeping some uh, charge on the emitter right there and also the base of the opposing one right there the NPN but uh, for the most part they just kind of help set the voltages they're not providing power pin layouts the same with the PNP as the NPN so left pins the emitter middle pin is the base right pin is the collector so this time the collector is going to go to the negative rail so I'm going to swivel it this way right there because you can see we got the jumper to the negative rail there and then the uh, collector to the negative rail the emitter goes to that jumper to that transistor the base I'm just going to leave floating right now I'm not connecting anything to it right now right there we will put that resistor again to uh, help set the voltage 10 kilo ohm resistor again to the positive rail now we have to give our signal from the trim pot there we go we got our signal there so pretty uh, pretty straightforward this emitter follower is providing a voltage to that emitter follower but plus Five, uh, plus 0.6 volts approximately so that's taking the voltage given to it and it's outputting the same voltage but minus 0.6 volts so we got plus 6 volts minus 6 volts and of course we can measure that so let's uh, this meter starts beeping if you leave it on too long so now again we'll go to that middle pin to see the voltage should still be about 5.2 volts and I short circuited something there we go pretty close to 5.2 we go up one row here now as I said before it's gonna add about 0.6 volts so we expect right here about 5.8 volts and there you can see 5.8 volts there so that's going to the base of that transistor and so we'll lose 0.6 volts to the load and you can see that we're back down to about the 5.2 so not perfect but uh, pretty good and again we get rid of the load so the load can change the power is being provided by the transistor instead of the trim pot we already looked at the trim pot the trim pot cannot provide this much current because we got 5000 ohms of resistance that the voltage is going to before it gets to the uh, wiper which comes to this jumper there and goes to the transistor so there's just too much resistance here so this is a great way to translate a voltage from a weak source of any kind directly to a load and uh, 
be able to provide enough power. Whatever power the load really needs, as long as the power supply can provide it. And uh, so, I really love this circuit. It's pretty simple, pretty effective. Let's take another look here. So I did draw out uh, some current stuff. So you can see that uh, this transistor normally wants to be on because we have that uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor there going to the base, which will help get it to conduct. But then we have the PMP transistor here, which will conduct as needed to hold that voltage that is being provided right there. And uh, so it will lower the voltage as needed, but basically to uh, 0.6 volts above what is at the uh, signal there. And then so it's taking that voltage plus 0.6 of the signal and it's outputting the voltage that is about 0.6 volts more negative. And so, in any case, that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.